Now y'all know Kim wrong for this one. Now I know she been a culture vulture thief, but this is going too far. Now Kim then just copied and pasted the girl whole entire skincare line. The only thing Kim changed was the color of the packaging and added an extra K in the name. A tweet by Anita Bofo. You mean Lori Harvey created it first, yet you again stole someone else's creativity. Shaking my head, another black woman's idea. A tweet by a woman named Caramel. Lori Harvey's company has the same name. I mean, this is crazy. Kim has way too much resources to just be copying and pasting other people's ideas. She knows she don't need that bag. She just being greedy. And the sad part about it is she's probably going to make more money off of her stolen ideas than Lori Harvey. One Twitter user wrote, Kim naming her skincare brand SKKN when Lori Harvey's skincare brand is named SKN doesn't sit, doesn't sit right with me. Seems like they're stealing from a black woman for the thousandth time. Another tweet by a woman named Erin Seller. So Lori Harvey launched a skincare line called Skin, S-K-N. And not long after that, Kim Kardashian launches a skincare line with the same name slash similar products called Skin, S-K-K-N. One thing the Kardashians will always do is steal from black culture slash creators for profit. I mean, this is really sad. Kim really ought to be ashamed of herself. But yet again, Kim has no shame. So, it is what it is. Another tweet says, Did Kim Kardashian really name her skincare line SKKN because Lori Harvey already took SKN? Kim is a mess, child. But this is nothing new. The Kardashians been doing this. Particularly Kim Kim has been doing this. This is nothing new. So um, I'm not surprised. It's just at this point in her life and in her career with her having so much, it just seems like it's just a low. It's like a, you know, a all new low, even for Kim. It's like, shouldn't you be better at this point in your life? Another tweet says, Lori Harvey made that already. <laughs> yes, child. Lori made that already, Kim. All you did was change the color of the packaging and added an extra K. That is really sad. But like I said, this is the all-time low even for Kim because it is so unnecessary. She doesn't need this. She don't need this bag, child. She could have left Lori Harvey alone. But Kim does anything for attention. She knew that, you know, this blatant copy and paste strategy that she just did was going to cause an uproar. And I believe that's part of the reason she did it. But, um, child, Kim is just a mess. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.